Now let's see how to best use Colorlab when we are working with the footage that originates on Panasonic cameras. Here I'm focusing primarily on Varicam cameras and all other cameras that support V-Log and V-Gamut. So if you haven't downloaded uh, the test shot for Panasonic, please go ahead and download it now. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our timelines and we're going to create a new timeline and this time we're going to call it Panasonic. Okay, great. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to take the D001 CO05 shot and I'm going to drop it onto my timeline. Okay, now basically what is now important to do and to check is following. When it comes to Panasonic, let's go and create another serial node and then we're going to copy Colorlab onto the node number two. There you go. So now when it comes to Panasonic, you have to select Panasonic input. But what is very important for you to make sure is this, that you have used V-Log and V gamut when you were shooting. I know that some models like GH5 and GH4 allow you to shoot with the V-Log. This profile can work with those cameras as well and you're going to actually get surprisingly very good results. This particular shot was shot with a Varicam V35. So now what you want to do then is just go and select contrast option S1 and the palette neutral one. This is going to give you a very uh, nice starting point for your Panasonic camera. So take it, this is basically like, you know, this kind of lookup table that will convert logarithmic footage of Panasonic into the Rec. 709.